it. So this is the Tobin's farm. A uh, farm. Well, not technically a farm. We have chickens in our backyard. All right. This is my girl Dolly. Uh, she is a bar rock girl. Um. So you people think from videos I've seen on YouTube. These chickens fight, but really, they're sweet and cuddly. I I sit, I have her sit on my lap all the time. She doesn't fight. I never seen her fight with any of the other chickens. All right, Johnny. And over there is Chicken Party. It, she's a cinnamon queen. Um, they are known to be docile, but really. They're not, they're not docile, um, not so much. They are friendly, but ours, that's the leader, the two, the two other guys, so. And we also have Blackie. I think she's laying an egg. Come on. So, um, uh, so, so when we got the house, uh, this came, this uh, over there came with it. It's like this DIY shed coming main and that lived here before. See? There's the shed. I'm um, coming inside. Aw, there she is. The lackey's laying an egg in the egg box. This egg box. She's black, so she's kind of hard to see. Yeah, so if we come in and try to zoom her in, you see that weird black thing? Zoom it. Um, so if you see that weird black thing, um, you know that black ball, that is our chicken Blackie. Blackie, show your head. Hey, here. So. These are egg-laying boxes. Mm -hmm. And this is our blocked-off section. We don't want pooping them everywhere. It'll be much more stinky and hard to clean up, I hear. So, the chicken run is right here. We made it ourselves. This is a DIY chicken run using chicken wire and PVC pipes. And then we put a tarp on it. Yes. To keep us cool, to keep the chickens cool in the summer. There's Caitlin, our camera woman, um, uh, talking. See, Caitlin. So, let's keep going. As I was saying, this is the Tobin Homestead. We have two apricot trees. This is the biggest one. So, the one of the big branches fell off. So, this is the branch that fell off and died. And this is the littler tree. Mm -hmm. We have our garden here. We have to block it off because the chickens dig everything. This is our little entrance. Uh-huh, the entrance. So, um, the chickens dig up all the plants. If you're planting a tree or having a garden and you have chickens, I recommend have a fence around it. The chickens will dig up everything. So, when we try and grow sunflowers over here in this pot, Chickens jumped in it, digged it out, and when there when there was starting one starting to grow, the chickens digged it out again, and now we don't have any sunflowers. That is what's going to happen to your plants or young trees. In but your trees will be okay without a fence when when a chicken can't just dig it out. So it's like has a sturdy branch like this. This is an old tree though, you see? If it has a sturdy stump with sturdy branches, you don't really need to worry about the chickens digging it up. 
and it's like that yada 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 and and as i was saying right here so right here chickens like to hang out you see the tree lots mm -hmm. of trees so if you come this way this is where the chickens like to be but warn it but i don't well, I warn you, if you have a tree that looks like this, don't bother to be around it. Bees love, the, love these trees, cause mostly, be, mostly because it probably has pollen a lot of, it has a lot of flowers though. It produces great shade. So the chickens like being under here. Um, and they like being down here and back here. Lots of shade from our chicken coop and and shed. So um, again, more trees. So it's really shady back here. So that that's why the chickens love it here in the summer. The fun. And this is the home for the chickens. Um. So. This is where everything is, and just to re catch up. So, barbed rocks are, and as I was saying, this is that. Um, so, this is our place. That's our homestead for the chickens. Alright, I have some treats for the chicken. Um, come on, let's see. So chickens love treats. Like this, they like to, they dig in your compost. They, they love the stuff you usually get in your compost, like vegetable, uh, fruits and vegetables. So, if I dump it here, watch. See, see they're running. And there they go. Love that stuff. So, hey, look at them eat. I don't have anything else, Chicken Party. That's Dottie, and that's Chicken Party. And um, some stuff we have in there is vegetables. We have some cucumber and just a bunch of vegetables you would use in salad, leftovers that the chickens would eat. Fun facts with Mr. Justin. This is Dottie. Whoa. So, Lit, as I was saying in one video, it's like they, these girls are friendly and, you know, though people think they're, they fight. But they do get jumpy sometimes. Um, so, this is fun facts, and did, did you know you have to make sure that the that you, your coop has shade and has some shady stuff around it? Um, like your chicken run, for example. You have a chicken run, have a tree, have a tree for a shady spot. Um, so if you don't, one. As I was saying, it's like you need a tree or you can use a tarp that isn't clear. Because clear tarps, if there is a such thing as clear tarps, won't work. And if it doesn't work, well, it doesn't make shade. Windows aren't shade. They're just a way to bring sunlight in. And chickens don't like that. So, um, what should we do? We should make sure there's some place for the chickens to have shade in their coop and in their chicken run or around the coop. And another fun fact is <clears throat> how many chickens do you have? Did you know that chickens um, that that has more chickens in its flock is happier? A chicken with one flock uh, that has a flock that has one chicken um, isn't is, a flock. Yeah, a chicken. 
the chicken will feel sad. They feel lonely. Even if you're out like all day, they still need chicken friends that are actual chickens. But if you don't have another chicken, if it's just one, uh, uh, your, your chickens won't act normal. They must need a buddy. And so the egg boxes you see in your coops, this is another fun fact. Egg, well, not really fun fact. These are facts. Um, the egg boxes in your coops must be shady. Uh, if you've seen a little bit ago, you have seen Flacky in a, in a nesting box. You couldn't really see her because the nesting box was dark. And that's exactly what chickens need. And the chicken, so the, as I was saying, chicken, so as Blackie was in the box, it was dark. And if it's dark, it's perfect. Chickens love laying their eggs privately. So, have you seen um, videos with chicken boxes where you can rise um, the top out and grab it and grab eggs? Uh, that's a no-go. The chickens will, the chickens will start, stop laying there. Um, cause they feel their privacy disturbed and they don't want to lay. They want to lay in somewhere that they could have a lot of privacy, that's dark, and that is clean. If your egg boxes aren't clean, they won't lay there. And if chickens get used to sleeping in there, that's why you have to block them off before they let start laying. Then you will have poopy boxes, and especially if you're introducing chicks to a new, to an older flock, um, and those chi the, the chicks will make the older chickens stop laying, all because they are pooping in their clean boxes. But even if you if you don't have any ch new chickens introduced, well. Still with the same, lock it off. If they get used to sleeping there or have lots of poop in there when it when they start laying, they don't want to lay in, lay in there. It's like either you have to clean it out, then teach them. So I heard of you know um you have you heard of putting ping pong balls or wooden eggs in there? That. I hear works great, though it looks like an egg, so most likely they'll start laying there. So I have a paint from I remember, I don't remember doing that, so it, it's probably easier to teach them when you have something to look like an egg. Well, if you're introducing chicks to an elder flock that still lays, you don't need a wooden egg. The chickens lay, and so they have like eggs in there, so when the chicks are old enough to lay, they will notice this is pretty lay, and they'll learn from the older chickens. And this is Blackie, which is, she's black, well, and well, she's like an egg. If you see that black, that would be Blackie. Yes. She's black, so she's hard to mm -hmm. see. These are so the boxes. That, so, we've shown you again, uh, shown you her again, see, shown you how dark it's supposed to be. Um, so it's super private. Oh, it looks like she's starting to move. I think she's about done with her egg laying. And also, you should never, if a chicken is down there, you should never make your hand go under there because it just, in, they don't like when your hand goes under there. Even if you think an the egg's there, that's a no-go. And let's give her some privacy because chickens, they wonder privacy is disturbed. But another thing is how to prevent them from not laying somewhere that they think isn't private. As you see, we have a walking coop. That is great. But if you don't and you have that, as I mentioned, um, lift up door, uh, a roof kind of a egg boxes and you grab the eggs. It's a no-go I right hear. With a walking coop you can walk in and if you see a chicken in there 
It means, oh, I need to give her some privacy and wait for her egg. So it gives you two notifications. It's like one is give her privacy. The other is we're going to need to collect an egg later. So handy. The chicken love it when it's private. And that is all my fun facts. Bye. Hello. Um, I got some treats here. So this is Caitlin, our at athletic girl. So she is fast. And she makes the chickens exercise with motivation. They want either she uses dried mealworms. If she if they see the treats, they'll usually follow it if they love the treats. You see? They're following Caitlin. And when Caitlin starts running across the backyard, they do that. Hey! Well, Chicka Party does. Chicka Party's already there. Come on, Dottie! Go get the treats! And see? The chickens run all right over here. Yep. Let's, let's we use motivation. Oh, there they go again. Come on, chicken party. <laughs> and then after a few laps, she she jumps a little. <laughs> oh my gosh. But be aware if you do this. Just be aware, if some ch you sometimes chickens will jump and try to get the treats. Though they love dried mealworms. Well, our chickens do. Let's see Kaylin run again. Come on, Dottie. More treats. Follow Kaylin. Let's all go. <laughs> Well, we're laughing they can get some treats. I, I just tried zooming in on them. Not really. Well, here we go. There's the chickens. All the way there. There is Caitlin. Well, you can because I can zoom in easily. That is called motivation running. Well, That's how you make chickens exercise. And I still have some more treats. And I'll just go until they're all gone. Once in a while, I'll do this with them so they get their exercise. Chick rooms. And then their exercise equals treats. Bye bye. Hello. So these are our cuties. <gasps> Hi, Chicky. So we have chicks. Six of them. So we can't take off the thi the this thing right here. Or they'll run off into the street. We have the garage open, so this is where they stay. They they used to be in this small box, but they outgrew it. Yeah. And now we have this extra large box. The from two white home and Depot. these are the names. And the two white ones are Susan and Scooter. The two brownish ones are Apricot and Cinnamon. And the two black ones are Pepper and Spotted. You can't really tell because the roof is really and also blocking they out have the, the heat color. Lamp. The heat lamp. So um, the this. So you see these two girls that are kind of white? They, that is Susan and Scooter. You see these two darker ones? That is Pepper and Spotty. And you see this one and that one? Those are Cinnamon and Apricot. Yep. These are the chicks. And they are 
adorable. We've had them for uh, really, really close to a month. So let's go ahead and go out because we let them outside in the backyard. Um, Earlier. Yeah. Um, this was the first day we ever gave them trees. They, they never really did. So right, so right here we have the chicks be um right over here the section first day mm -hmm. ever that they have treats, but they they never go for the treats because they don't know what it is and you can't give them too much because they need their their food so they can I couldn't grow big and strong. I couldn't tell who was who. E Susan and Scooter, who was it? Who was flinging dirt all over her? Though pet. Spotty does that a lot. Oh, um, one of the things that we saw is really, really funny with the chickens is that they will, um, one of our chicks will get on the ground and it's hard and it's cement and they'll just act like it's dirt and just take a dirt bath, try to get dirt on them, but there's no dirt. It's just cement. Yes. It's like this. Pretend I'm trying to, I can't get anything. It's just flat. I I make a little playpen for them in the garage. This is a, because the, they don't have as much room to run around in the box. The garage has a cement floor, and the chicks, um, technically chick, our girl Spotty um, digs in the ground. It, uh, it's weird. It is though. And when she comes out here, she doesn't even dig. She doesn't. Well, she does, except first when she comes out, she runs around. Um, that we, right now we have our, we also have to make a pen out, or they'll run around the backyard. Yeah, and also they always need supervision. And they may go under the fence. Yeah, they could the get in the garden. They could start digging all over the compost. In um, about a week, we might put them in the garden, and then they can't get out because they won't pick up the garden. But um, our two, um, we got two chicks. Um, a week before the other, um, a week after we got the other one, so they're still pretty tiny compared to the other ones. And White Plymouth Rock could just have um, something where they get bigger, so that's why Susan and Scooter are bigger. The types of chickens so, that we have are um, two White Plymouth Rock, two Rhode Island Reds, and two Bargarocks. Those are our chicks, and we have. One Bardock, one Cinnamon Queen, and one Black Sexling is our full grown chickens. Four years old and almost a month old for the chicks. And the chickens that we have right now are four years old. So, this is why we don't want the chick, we don't want to put the chicks in the garden. And also, just to say, you need something. If you have chickens with the garden, you need something that the chickens won't um, be able to get through. Like, the chickens won't be able to get into the garden with this type of You see, thing. but do you see the gap here? The you, chicks would easily be able to get out of there. And get in if they get out of the playpen out but here. But the chickens can't get in. That's why if you plant a garden, you need something to make sure that the garden doesn't get ruined. And um, if, like, no, the garden here, it's very big. We have two that are ready to pick tomorrow. I planted all of these. And I water And in those pots we have flowers over there. Well, they're um they're sprouting. They have a And if you see there's no just flowers yellow flowers here. That means that there's going to be these are cantaloupe. Get off this so you can get a better view of how they look. Ah, it's horrible. With the heat lamp, you can't see it, so we're going to take them out and hold them. Justin will hold them at the moment, but he ha we have to have a top because they'll just jump up here, run away, and then they will die. And watch if, um, take a look at how they jump out if they jump. Um, they might possibly jump out, but I don't know. 
Yeah, they're just staying in there. All six are in there. Apricot, cinnamon, pepper, spotty, Susan, and Scooter. And Justin, just washed his hands. You have to have clean hands to pick up chips. You don't want to, you don't want to have um, dirty hands. So this is our biggest girl, Scooter. She's a month old. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, if you wait for a moment, I will set up the playpen. It's still playing, Justin. So, um, He's I'm making the playpen. I'm about done with making the pen. The chips, people love those. So. so you gotta clean it up once you're done. See, hard cement, that's where Spotty will scratch around that hard, hard cement. So, um, let's let the chips out into the pen. So, let's see what we this is my girl, Susan. That's his favorite one. Let's zoom in on Susan. She was going crazy it on, she, I think she was the one going crazy on third bath. Yeah, she was the one. Ow, this ow, 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 ow. is Spotty. She's the girl that Wait, went crazy blurry. about dirt bath. Oh, there we go. Sorry, it was blurry. So, right, so this We got is three chicks out. Um, this is Scooter. That's Pepper. That is, let's see. That oh, she, like, that looks apricot. Like oh my god. And then this would be cinnamon. They're um they're happy to be out of here. This is on um, their little place. They will just run around and do things. The, they no. are a There the, this. There she is. This is my girl Susan in my lap. Look at the camera, girl. <laughs> Come on, look for the camera. Uh -huh. So, there is she. Um, so all of them is over there. Um, see, um, let me zoom it in. Hey, Caitlin, um, we got the chickies back there. Is there something wrong? The chicks. Whoa. Now they're flying around. <laughs> uh oh. Chip loose. Chip loose. One. I just got the chicken back in the pen when they found a way to uh, get out. Escape. Um. So you always gotta watch them. Always supervising. Supervision. Supervision. So it's like these chicks will be fine. They will find oh, any way to literally get out. Ah, uh, it kind of looks like the barbed rocks and the Rhode Island Reds are the ones that usually find one. As I was saying, barbed rocks and Rhode Island Reds of ours here really finds uh -oh. ways to get out. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, just gotta help. Oh no 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 no! Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Everything's going wrong. Always gotta have supervision. When you think something's right, then everything turns out wrong. So that is the chickaroos. Yeah, that's what we like to call them, chickaroos. Hmm. She may want to be up there. They also like to roost on the boxes. So. Watch and learn. Alrighty, let me um show you something. This one. Okay. Girl, girl, come on. Come on. I got these two. Alrighty, so these are just the kind of just ooh. Ooh, are you okay? Are you okay? They're all quite. We had to put them back on the roost because well, they will um just we didn't. They kept on escaping, so. So these are the chicks. Let's put them back. Back in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They like, they do like losing on the box. They do. And they just love roosting on the box. And yeah, so cord. So it's like, these are the chickies. 
that is, um, he is holding, well, he did hold Pepper, and yeah. Say bye, Dottie.